Has he recanted? No. Then pray God it may not be too late. Senor Polo. Father. God hates liars above all things. Do not die with the weight of these lies crushing your immortal soul. Men must take the world as they find it. Even if the priests want to keep them in, in ignorance. I went to China, to the court of the great Khan. I served him. I was proud to serve him. I fought alongside him, and I ruled under him. See for yourselves. Elvira, please. In recent years, the Earth has been decimated by famine, plague, and war. And one of those wars between Genoa and Venice. Two men have been in prison and are being held to ransom. One of them is Rustigiello of Pisa. The other is Venetian. My name is Marco Polo. You think they will make peace soon? How long will they keep us? What do you think the chances are of us being freed? I think we'll stay here until someone pays a ransom for us. How long will that take? And how can we be sure even then that they will let us go? We may never get out of here, don't you understand? Prison isn't the end of the world. <laughs> really? I was put in prison once before. Here, in Genoa? 
in China. You have been to China? And to many other places. Some places no one in Europe has even heard of. And all of them up here, huh? In your mind. What if I told you I've been to the center of the world? That I've seen the future? No, my impatient friend. My journeys aren't in here. They began when I looked across all those masts in the harbor at Venice, when I was young. I wanted to know whose sheep they were, and where they had been, and what the men who sailed on them had seen. My father and my uncle were Venetian traders who would go to the ends of the earth in search of profit. All I wanted to know was whose hands had made those strange and beautiful things and how they lived. Don't touch. Their search for profit, in the end, took them to where no Venetian Marco. or any other man in Europe had ever been. It is solid gold. The great Khan of China, Kublai Khan himself, gave it to us for safe passage. He is the grandson of Genghis. Genghis Khan? The greatest warrior the world has ever seen. Yes. Yes. Huh. It was then that I knew China was my destiny. That come what may, I would go there. We saw enough to know we could make a fortune trading with them. Yes, they have silks and spices and plates made of material so fine you can see your hand through them. They send caravans of a thousand camels to trade all over Asia. They have gold and silver and diamonds. Greatest craftsmen and artists in the world. Cities so vast they could be oceans. However, the Khan's empire is so rich and he's nothing from the West. But we have arranged a way to go back. He has heard of the Pope and our Christian God. <laughs> now he allows his Chinese subjects to pray to any gods they please. But Marco, if the true religion could be revealed to him, well... While we make ourselves a tidy profit on the side, It will be a journey to the other side of the world that took us first to Jerusalem for oil from the Holy Sepulchre, accompanied by two priests who would journey with us to the court of the great Kublai Khan. The Saracens bestrode the sea route, which would have made our journey easier, so we were forced to travel over land despite its dangers. But I was young and feared nothing, save having to live a life on a stool in a counting house. Our hardships had been many, but we had yet to climb the Pamir Mountains, the roof of the world, with the two priests complaining bitterly at every step. we would bring him a hundred priests. We ended up with just two. Now you want to run back to Venice with your tails between your legs, huh? We're all going to die here. The journey is too hard. Who knows? 
that this Kublai Khan exists. You're all merchants and traders who take your word for anything. The Pope will never have another chance like this. Millions of souls to be harvested. The fate of the world changed. We promised him priests! Stop! We almost died in the mountains. Stop. We'll die for sure here. And even if we don't, no one knows what's at the end of this journey. We do. Yeah. A chance to change the course of history. Wealth beyond anyone's wildest dreams. Your Venetians are all the same, maddened by greed. All you believe in is gold. Are you prepared to lead your own son to his death in search of riches? <laughs> I came of my own free will. Your father is risking your life for a fairy tale. He was there. He saw the Khan with his own eyes. And did he see dragons, too? Huh? And unicorns? And horses with wings? What is he? A liar? A madman? Or a fool? Or all three? <laughs> Oh let him go, let him go! We would have to drag their worthless hides! The priests were right. Maybe we will all die trying. Perhaps we should send the boy back. All those stories you told me about the land you traveled to, what you saw in China, I want to see for myself. came from there, the roof of the world? Yes. That's where he left his strength. He had none left to fight the fever when it came. Can you help him? There are herbs that will lessen the heat in his blood. Beyond that, it's in Allah's hands. Uncle Mafia wanted to leave me there and carry on with the journey, but my father refused. For months, no one knew if I would leave or die. You still want to go to China with your father? Go pray and thank Allah you're still alive. You know how much further you still have to go? I mean, what kind of welcome you're gonna get? The Pope himself blessed our journey. We have holy oil from Christ's birthplace in Jerusalem. The Pope may be a great man in his own land. He's God's representative on earth. But Kublai Khan rules a vast empire that even the great Alexander never dreamed of. What does your backwood, uncivilized world have to offer him? What does your father have to offer him that he needs? When my father came back to Venice, no one believed him. They said his stories were travelers' tales, nothing more. So you want to prove them wrong? Or is it something else? You want to see for yourself if he spoke truth.
Tackle Macan. It means you go in, but you don't come out again. It's 45 days to the nearest well. There are no villages or shade. After this desert, there is another desert. Just as harsh, with the Gobi. There's no way around them. You have to go straight across. What is that? It's a journal. It's a record of the route we came and the things we saw. For traders, you would do better working on your arithmetic. Uncle Murphy! And if someone else finds it and uses our route to make themselves rich instead of us, how will you feel then? Knowledge is power, Marco. And power leads to wealth. That is why we are here. So that the Polo family becomes the gatekeepers to the riches of China. Books can be the most dangerous things in the world, Marco. And whoever do you think will read your scribblings? The people who find your bones? Black Hans army came this way. Marco, this is what happens when the city divides the car. The horseman turned out to be the Count's cavalry, sent by him to ensure safe passage to his court. If Venice had soldiers like that, 
We would have conquered Genoa years ago. If Venice had soldiers like that, we would have conquered the world. Marco! Why are their bows shaped like that? Do you think it makes them more powerful? How far do you think they can shoot? When they stick a knife in your back to shut you up, you will be asking, what is the handle made of? Who designed the blade? Where did it come from? It's filled with powder. But it shoots fire. <clears throat> I am to be your slave. My master's every desire is my only happiness. We have enough for three days. The slave and I were to strike sparks off each other, as is often the way with great friendships, as this would turn out to be. How does it do that? Chinese magic. <laughs> That stone was only the first of the wonders I was to see. carried the wealth of China to the ends of the earth, were another. greater than my first sight of the greatest city in China. Greatest city anywhere. Shandu. The summer capital of Kublai Khan. Come, this way. to meet Kublai, grandson of Genghis Khan, the man who had united many nations and tribes under the Mongol banner.
Head off. Once inside, prostrate yourself and touch your forehead to the floor. Do not look in his eyes. Do not let your breath touch him. When you leave, walk backwards and keep your eyes to the ground. Where are the priests? Alas, they were afraid of the journey, Majesty. They turned back. But we have oil, yes. holy oil from the holy city. I order you to bring one thing, and you bring another. Yeah, a trinket. Blessed by the Pope himself. And is this a token of the Pope's submission to me? Do you bring me that too? That is not in our power, Excellency. We are merchants, traders. Could it be I spoke and you did not hear? The Pope has heard. All the nations in the West have heard. And while they think they have a chance to turn you to their religion, you have nothing to fear from them. Shh. How old are you to have such wisdom? Twenty, my lord. The revered Genghis was 13 when he began his conquest. Are you a second Genghis? A thousand years ago, the Roman Empire ruled the world, but already I can see this is a much greater one. Why one flatters, young man? Be sparing. Or else the listener might believe he's made a fool of. You think the celestial kingdom has anything to fear from the West? Not as long as they believe they can convert you and your people. Are you suggesting? I had a hidden strategy in asking for the priests. Sometimes the correct answer is to make no answer. We should have left him in Persia. That young man. Should be taught a lesson. Yes, but look around you. Who will tell you what you don't like to hear? And isn't that what we need to hear the most? Is this how you hope to avoid my anger by flattery? No. I spoke no flattery. I've seen wonders here. But I don't think I've seen a hundredth of what China truly contains. It would take a lifetime to see that. Shall I grant you that? What do you think, Baron Aquas? Even if we had a lifetime, could we civilize this young barbarian? You would have more chance with that. We will return at once to Venice. Majesty, if that is your wish. It is. But your son, who speaks out so boldly, let him answer for himself. Be careful how you answer. I did not come here to trade. I came here to see an empire men laughed at my father for describing. 
I love and respect him, but... I did not come all this way to turn around and go home again. The young men say foolish things that they later regret. Especially this one. But he is of an age to know his own mind, is he not? You will stay here for your lifetime. Take him under your wing, Lord Chencho. Get out of this barbarian clothes, make him bathe, see what you can do with him. Who knows? We may find a use for him one day. favor with the Empress. She's spoken your favor. That is both good and evil fortune, but the safest way to survive at court is not to be noticed. First a stone that knows what to point, now a stone that burns. Polo! You will live here. Make it your home. Although, given your tongue, you'd be lucky to last a week. You wish to keep the same slave? Yes. You could do better. But I'm used to it. I've heard more enthusiastic responses. Or have you found another one now? You always taught me. Life is an adventure. Or it was nothing. What life can you have here? What life can I have without you in Venice? I have to do this. Knowing I may never see you again. Niccolo, we must leave now or we will be trapped here too. Wait, wait. If you must stay, right. Right, all you see, Marco. Men need proof. They despise me because I had none. Put it all in there. Even worse, I was now a man caught in two worlds and two schemes. A man from the West who had to learn to be a man from the East. The East, which seemed stranger and stranger, the more I got to know it. The Empress Chavi, she rules the kingdom too? How can that be? Don't your women rule? <laughs> no. They cook and bear children, but they don't rule. Do men not laugh at him for listening to a woman? Why should he close his ears to her? Because she's a woman. The Khan's mother piloted his way to the throne. He owes her more than anyone. Even Genghis Khan revered his wives. He split his kingdom between the sons he had by them. Why should it be otherwise? Because she's a woman. Isn't a man twice as wise to have a wise woman by his side? Mm. 
What did you just do? I paid for the spices. But money is gold or silver. This is money, too. It's paper. But it's worth as much as gold or silver. This sheet of paper, which is worth nothing in itself, is worth as much as gold or silver? Yes. But it's paper. How can it not hurt? If you believe in Chinese magic enough. where the energy flows. Don't your doctors know this? No. And how do they treat you? They don't. They pray, and if prayer doesn't work, they bury you. Yes, China is rich and powerful, and you have many things that we don't. But Europe is the center of the world. Mm. It must be. God placed the Pope in his church there. The one true God? The Empire has room for a thousand gods. That's blasphemy. Men still go to war here, but not to save other men's souls. From what you've told me, those are the most terrible wars of all. Snow never tasted like this. This is true? All of it? That's what men asked my father. Right before they called him a liar and a man man. I believe you. I believe everything you have told me. Even if I didn't, it is still the greatest traveler's tale I have ever... My journals have been seen by everyone in Venice. No one there calls the Polos liars now. No. I, uh, I am a writer. A professional one. And I must say, in, in all modesty, I, uh, I have uh, quite a following. <laughs> you may have heard of me, huh? Rooster Jello of Pisa? No. No? But then I've been abroad for many years. Oh. My, the pearl and the rose sold a good many copies. I never heard of it. N never? No. Astonishing. Uh, <clears throat> I write romances, and yours is a wonderful story, but a little short of... Uh, um, you were young, in a strange land, facing an uncertain future. Might you not have looked for someone, uh, apart from your slave, to, to share your life with? There was someone, yes. Ah, at the court. She was brought to the court, yes. But against her will. Inside. <laughs>
Lift your head. Lift your head! Turn her around. She'll make a fine wife for the Khan. We'll find another bride for you. If you're very lucky, if you'll be chosen to spend one night in the royal bed, no more, one night only. No matter how much you please him, or else. And after that night, you'll be given to those he chooses: a soldier, a general, one of the nobles, someone at court. You don't see me again. At the very least, it was instructive meeting a barbarian. If you're putting yourself in danger, aren't you putting me in danger too? The Khan may be all wise and all seeing, but he has his favorites. One of them is Baron Ahmad. He is rich and powerful and has all the courtesans that he wants, but that was not enough for him. He wanted my sister. She resisted him, and he took his revenge. The Khan permits this. I told you, the Khan has his favorites. No one will whisper a word of this to him. Did they do that? I vowed to kill Ahmad. I couldn't get near him. Someone else did, but they failed. Ahmad took vengeance on all my clan. He's still taking it. The bride-to-be of one of my kinsmen, Honshu, has been brought here under guard and is locked in the house of women. Honshu will never see her again. She is now as much a slave as I am. 
You are not my slave. A slave to a barbarian who eats with his hands and believes that only one god can rule a world as vast as this. Something very special tonight, Excellency. Forbidden to attend to the Khan's son. Go away! Tommy? Where's the Baron going? <laughs> Prince Chichen commanded his presence. The Prince has not returned from the hunt. <laughs> city, sire. Rebellion. Well, if they reach the palace, wake me. Oh, don't worry. 
few rebels in the street. killing will go on. They'll kill those involved that night and those that knew them. And then, those that knew them. You best let me go. Before they come for me. It was treason! It was treason! What was more treason, Excellent? To steal from and kill and rape your subjects under the shield of your name? Or to take arms against such a man? Is that how you have taught this barbarian? To challenge his Khan? Lord Akma did what he did in your name. But your courtiers and generals were too afraid to tell you the truth. Madness, Excellence! That's all it can be! Perhaps they talk to their rulers like that. Is it not enough to be the richest ruler in the world? Would you not also want to be the wisest? You try it! Your flattery won't save you this time. Now listen to you. Now this! <laughs> He's involved in treason, rebellion, mutiny. He slandered one of my right-hand men. He'd accuse me of not knowing or caring what goes on under my nose. <laughs> Perhaps they can't be civilized. Perhaps they all are just monkeys. Even though sometimes, clever monkeys, like him. It's true. Lord Ahmad did these things in my name, and no one told me. He claimed my protection for his crimes, and not even my generals had the courage to tell me. It took a boy to tell me. A boy. A barbarian boy at that. Could the great Khan be such a, 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 a poor judge of men that Answer me! Answer me! No, sire. It's lies. All lies. Oh, it's true. It's, it's all true. It's true. And how much else is true that, that I don't know yet? I... The Chinese are the most creative people in the world. As you can see, I have many skilled craftsmen in my employ. I would say the most artistic are my executioners. 
In the death by a hundred slices, for example, they compete with each other to see who can prolong the execution most painfully. I feel that mercy is called for. I order them to slice through the eyes first. That way the felon will not see what is happening to him. But perhaps it would be more merciful to let him keep his eyes. What do you think? What are you? A courtier or a truth teller? May not a man be both? <coughs> I've never known one. You may rise. You defied your father to stay here. I know something about living in the shadow of one's ancestors. And you made your first dangerous enemy. Congratulations. It's a sign of ambition. But I cannot keep Lord Kogatai in prison for long. His clan is too powerful. I'll have to release him soon. And when I do, you will need friends. And where will a stranger like you find friends in China, I wonder? You are an unusual young man. You seem to have talent and intelligence, but it's still early. You owe no man your allegiance. I may have some use for such a man from time to time. A man whose loyalty to me would be personal and undivided. A man I can trust. Up to a point, of course. A man who will speak the unshaded truth to me and from me to others, always and completely. You will become my man at court, or you will face Lord Kotitai's rage alone and not get much older, I think. You were told that to survive is to be invisible. He's not just asking me to do what others can't. He's looking for friendship. He has the Empress and 50 wives and a different girl in his bed every night. But he's lonely. This is the only kind of friendship he can risk with someone like me. If you become his friend, you make enemies of everyone else. They will be whispering that you only got close to him to betray him. And then when he dies, or you lose favor with the Empress, they sit on the dragon throne. Does that not convey anything to you? I saved your life. And I risked my own to do it. Now I have to know. Is the rebellion finished? It was over when Akmath died. You don't still seek revenge. It's done. And the woman? The woman who was taken from your clan. You don't still seek revenge for her? It was not the calm that we rose up against. But what was being done in his name? Her fate is her fate. She knows that. You did well, Tamula. The Khan was pleased. Very pleased. <laughs> his order is that you be given, as a sign of his favor, to someone worthy of you. Someone for whom is whispered, great things are planned. I know that she never loved me as much as I loved her from that first moment. In all the circumstances, how could she? Everything she did with grace. 
Everything about her fascinated me. She was this new world I was discovering. In all its strangeness. In all its variety. That I couldn't wait to make a record of it, as I'd promised my father. She was as strange and as hard to understand as their music. you and I want to know everything to write in those books no no I will never do that I want to know you because I want to know you then ask Pedro Pedro he knows it all and I also know you saved his life you are a clans woman guard paper and ink and a quill Please, hurry. What are you doing? Explorer. Writer. Writer. Explorer. <laughs> oh, Marco, Marco, Marco. All of my life, I have had to cudgel my brain to come up with adventures, uh, characters, uh, love stories. Uh, to fill this, this damned empty sheet with the contents of a head just as empty. And here, in this prison cell, where I thought it was all over for me, you bring me the greatest stories I have ever heard. And you tell me they are true. They are true. All of them. Then the whole world must hear it. Not just Venice. Let us do it. Do what? Rus the Giello of Pisa. The Travels of Marco Polo. Mm. It, uh, or, uh, 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 the Travels of Marco Polo by Rus the Giello of Pisa. Mm. Or, or uh, 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 the travels of Marco Polo as told to Rustagello a piece. Uh, then, 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 just, just the travels of Marco Polo. <laughs> we can talk later about what to put on the title page, huh? <laughs> oh, but as for now, there was, first of all, uh, uh, you, um, the girl, um, and your slave. Kublai, uh, 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 the court. Enemies all around, yes? Yes, yes, yes. You suffered so much. You want an end to your pain. I have the power to give you that. But first, I need to know what names did they get from you about the rebellion? He gave no names yet. Yet! That means you're still at risk. And because treason stains everyone it touches, I'm in danger too. What treason? The Khan knows Akmar drove the people to rebellion. 
If they rebelled once, might they not do it again? If they think they have reason, I'll talk to the guy. <laughs> do you not understand what you're dealing with? You may lose your head. I said you'd be lucky to last a week here. <laughs> you survived that. But maybe not for much longer. Lord Coconut! You won't get very far with that brand on your neck. I'm going to turn myself in. There's no point in the three of us being executed. I won't let you do that. Sometimes a slave must make his own decisions. No. What if I bring you down with me? That's a risk I will take. I need you. You're difficult and insubordinate. I can't find my way here without you. Lord Chen Chu will protect you. He's been in court all his life. Do you think he would have survived without his own betrayals if it's my neck or his? Listen to him. I own nothing here, nor do you, nor does Timlin. We are as powerless as each other. It's only each other that we can trust. If we're going to survive, we have to do it together. And... Aren't I of your clan now? Has the barbarian made you his slave, too, to do his bidding? He has the Empress's protection, as I do. And there's a thin cloak to keep out the cold. It may be winter again before you know. Lord Chen Chu. That young man of yours, the barbarian, is he still as headstrong as ever? I think that living at court and getting to know its ways have tempered that a little. <laughs> Clearly. Because he still has that handsome head on his shoulders, despite his enemies. It is time for him to prove himself and his loyalty. Trade, trade. Trade means secure roads, rivers free of pirates. This city controls the trade routes. In the islands of the east, Spice Islands. Spice is worth more than gold. Where are the Spice Islands? How many of them are there? Why do the spices only grow there? This is not a geography lesson. This is a diplomatic briefing. The governor of this city has been talking to men who do not love their emperor. If we treat this man as an outright enemy, he may decide he has nothing to lose and just launch a rebellion. But if we ignore his disloyalty, others may be encouraged to question my authority. Lord Chenchu, others think that this might be a twisting path, that you, with your talent for words and flattery, might be able to negotiate. It means a long river voyage, and on a river so vast it could easily swallow up half your west. Do you think you could tear yourself away from my presence to accept such an assignment? Only to see, Excellence, if the rest of the kingdom is as happy under its emperor's rule as here. What do you think, Lord Chenchu? Dare we trust this barbarian with such a delicate mission? A long journey for you. Well, I take care of the loose threads in this tapestry. <laughs> Want 
to justice. And what is that? But an end to pain. Here it is. I want you to meet Marco Polo. Marco! There he is. This is my sister, Kansai. Ni hao. This is Marco Polo. He wants to know everything about the world. But first, he must learn the patience to seek it. He's different, yes? Look how big his nose is. But he's good to me. And he loves me. Now go. That's him. She's alone here too. Except for me. As she gets older, she'll need a protector. One with power. One who can take care of her interests. She'll have one in me. If I don't come back from this journey, you know you're free to find someone to take my place. Someone with the power to protect Kenzie. But I will come back. Yes. Your destiny and you are not at odds. country are there slaves most men live like slaves whether or not they're bought or sold will you ever go back why when there's so much of the world to see I think perhaps you will go back well I should like to see how strange your world is and what marvels it contains you can't talk like this you know that do you miss it? It's fading like a dream, if you only half remember. Is it beautiful? It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Even if all anyone can think about there is making money, it all seems like a lifetime ago. Someone else's life at that. Don't you wish to see your father again? Of course I do. To make peace with him for abandoning you here. Isn't that what he did? You never end the journey the same person you set out. You discover things about yourself along the way. I don't judge him for what he found. And one day I'll hand him this. And I will tell Venice, China is the center of the world. And that I, Marco Polo, son of Niccolo, was there. In the service of the great Khan. a jest or an insult. I'm supposed to deal with a barbarian and a boy. I speak for the Khan in his name with all his powers. The Lord of heaven and earth knows your love for him, but he fears those who love him less have found refuge in your city and that they may stir the minds of idle men into thoughts of rebellion. I give shelter to anyone who asks for it. My tent is open to all as was that of the great Genghis. We Mongols come from many peoples, after all. When I return to court, I hope to tell the Khan 
what he has heard are lies. And that his governor stakes his neck on it. Might it not be easier just to ask him to cut out your tongue and mine too? I doubt even that would steal that tongue of yours. At this pace, we are going to find out. Would you care to wager, Master? Barbarian. The Khan doesn't want your head. He wants those of the rebels. Why should I believe you? I swear it. On my honor. The Khan knows. You lured the rebels here to hand them over to him that you never listened to them. But you know, anarchy is the mother of disease and famine, and you do anything to forestall it. Anything. Isn't that the truth? It's, it's not a trap. The only trap is the one that you sprang on the enemies of the Khan. Is that not so? Safe passage for me and my family. For all of you. Why should loyalty be punished? the test and you did well ah, there's only one thing as certain as today's victory tomorrow I will need another and another after that and what is most certain of all trust no one you steal my secrets give them to my enemies you have become my enemy no no, no, no. I write down all that I see in your empire. Not to steal its marvels and its wonders, but so there may be a record for all time. Wonders? What wonders? A stone that burns, powder that shoots fire and kills, a pebble that always faces north, paper worth as much as gold. Wonders? These are wonders. These are marvels. You see them every day. So you forget how extraordinary they are. You have learned everything that Chen Shu can teach you. And today you proved yourself. This city needs a governor I can trust. Your first official duty is to have them killed. Ah. Spare their lives today. They will surely strike at you tomorrow.
will be safe for you to return to the palace. Those loose threads have been... You knew what danger I was put in? I was saving us both from a greater danger. How could you do that? Lord Chen has been at court all his life. Think he could have survived without his own betrayals? It's his neck or mine. Walls may not have ears, but all those within them do. You're right, you see. I can never, ever be trusted. Now, that's something you can always rely on. Oh, don't look so outraged. It's a lesson you badly needed. I was a ruler in my own right, the power over life and death. But how long can a man keep the favor of those with absolute power? I never knew at dawn whether I'd see the sunset or not. No one in the court of Kublai Khan did. No matter how much favor you'd found with his empress. The girl Temelin, you sent for her? Or took another wife? Why would I do that? She might not have loved me, but I did love her. Even though she kept so much of herself from me. While I was gone, she tried to wrest her destiny back from the fates and escaped to the palace to return to the man that she really loved. must be dry. And then? It's all in my journals. But they are in Venice. And you may never see them again. So what of it? Remember this. If you don't get ransomed, then you die here. Your only hope of immortality is me. You. The ink-stained wretch with the quill. Yes. Books do not write themselves. I know. Who do you think wrote my journals? And who knows about them? Apart from you and a few Venetians. What is it? What is it you don't want to have to live again? Sign these. Here. Timberland's here? What is it? She tried to escape from the palace. She bribed the guard. The palace guards. She could not have survived what they did to her. Not my destiny. You are not my destiny. Do you wish it to be? I left him behind the day the Khan's soldiers came. And she said she needed a protector for her sister. I, I thought she was asking my permission to take another husband. If I didn't return. But she was planning this. Yes. She never forgot him. Chong-gu, the man she loved, the man who was her destiny that was stolen from her. She never kept that from you, Marco. No. No, she didn't. But the sister. I will do my duty, but I will keep my... I'm afraid it's too late. They have taken Kensai to the House of Women. So I failed them both. You failed no one. They both had their destiny. And you have got yours. What else can a man do but be faithful to his own destiny? And can you rail against the gods at your room? Reply to the ambassadors, Your Excellency. Send to the land of the rising sun.
Take him away. Their heads. They sent back our ambassador's heads. In lacquer boxes. The Mongols may have taken China by the sword, but they're clever enough to know it has to be governed by the pen. We were already an ancient civilization when Genghis came. The genius of the Khans has been not to tear it down. They respect the Tao and the teachings of Confucius. Kublai himself has said that no man can tell whether the god of Christians or of Muhammad or of the Jews or of the Buddhists is the greater. So let each man worship as he pleases. Mm. <laughs> who, you may ask, conquered who? All is written in the annals so that all men know the traditions which are the only guide to present and future conduct, how to live in harmony with the world, what one's rights and duties are. One of yours as governor is to take care of these. The poor and sick and those who cannot care for themselves. You will also arrange for the schooling of these, these children here. You will make sure that the names of everyone in each house are displayed at the door, the better to keep order. We will build watchtowers in case of fire and places where men may go to to safeguard their possessions if it breaks out. We will make sure that every man must know what he must do to fight the fire to save his own house and thus his own street and thus his own city. <laughs> when a man kills another man, what good does it do the dead man's family to kill him too? We will set a price for the murdered man and make the killer work until his debt is paid. You will remember that the rule of law is for all under heaven, including yourself. But not for the emperor, because he is the son of heaven. So how can it apply to him? What is that? Khan's messengers. I'm to return to Shandu at once. I'm not to take any soldiers with me. I'm to surrender the keys to the city. She had to die. Obedience must be total, or there's no order. But our trust in you was not betrayed. You proved as faithful a governor as you were adept a diplomat. You rebuilt your city, you strengthened its walls, increased its trade. You kept our subjects safe, secure, prosperous. Your name, of course, will never grace the annals. 
How can we ever admit to having a barbarian in such an exalted position? However, it's dangerous to let anyone rule in one place for too long. They forget they rule only by our favor. Then they lose their heads. There may be another task for you now, Polo. Follow me. Tell me, what do you think the most dangerous weapon could be in the hands of my enemy? Gunpowder. No. Uh, an army. Huh. Knowledge. Knowledge. These maps reveal where my forts are, the bridges across my rivers, my palaces, my richest provinces, the hardest cities for me to defend. Without such knowledge, my enemies are blind, blind as I am blind about them. There are too many blank spaces on these maps, these islands, the land of the rising sun. Now, hundreds of years ago, China established colonies there, but in time, these people became strong, proud. They refused to accept that they were still our subjects. I sent ambassadors to them, demanded that they submit. They cut their heads off, sent them back to me in lacquer boxes. They should be punished. Yes, no, you need to know. What do you know about this kingdom? Who is this leader? How many men does he have? Would he make an alliance with these islanders against me? And here, here, how strong are these warriors? Is there a Genghis among them who would sweep us away the way we swept away the Liao and the Zhou and the Sung and the sea? How far does the sea extend these islands? Do these islands really exist? Are they figments of someone's imagination? Mongolia, Mongolia home, where all the tribes united by Genghis came together. Above it, men say there is the kingdom of night, and above that, the kingdom of the snows. Do they exist? Do they really exist? What exists? How fearful of them should we be? Here is a land of flying dragons. Here, a land where men grow one huge foot, which they use to shade themselves from the sun. Here, men with mouths in their stomachs. Have you seen these things? Not myself. Did the men who drew them see them? Travelers told of it. And travelers' tales are always true. This is what men believe, what they've believed since time began. Men should believe what they see. What use is a map filled with things that should be in fairy tales? Blank spaces would be better. No, to fill in the blank spaces would be better still with the truth. Friend or enemy, knowledge. Knowledge is always better. Where would we find someone we could trust to fill those spaces in? Without fairy tales, guesses or lies, whose eyes would be clear, whose judgment would be unclouded, whose loyalty would be indisputable, if only because he has no protector but the car. His Excellence is allowing the barbarian to leave the kingdom. In his wisdom, he has decided that he can be trusted this far. How much would they give in the West to know how to manufacture gunpowder? How we organize our armies? How far the Great Wall extends? They don't even have the stone that points north. Once they do, will our borders ever be secure again? Perhaps he's planned all along to betray you. Gain your favor. Take back what he's learned to his own king. He has no king but me. Can you be sure of that, Excellence? The Chinese call a stranger a raw man. But a friend, a cooked man. Won't Polo always be a raw man? Unknowable, always a stranger and a barbarian at heart. The great Genghis, your illustrious grandfather, never let friendship get in the way of his safety. Go. I know, I know, I know. He hates Polo. That doesn't mean he's not speaking good sense. True, but also true. When they plot against each other, they have no time to plot against us. You're the Khan. Your decision is the one that matters. If you can't trust him, so be it. Let us stay blind and helpless. 
Trusty maps that show men who keep the sun off their heads with their feet, while our enemies insult us and plot our downfall. And so I began my journey for the Khan. Where are we going? Whatever the Khan sends us. When are we coming back? When we've found what we're looking for. What are we looking for? If we knew, what would be the point of the journey? Here were wonders beyond what I dreamed of as a boy, looking at those masts of the ships in Venice. Wonders after wonders, worlds beyond worlds. A man-made wall that seemed to girdle the very earth itself. New lands and also new people. And new gods worshipped in new ways. It made me ask whether the god I knew could be the only one to rule a universe so vast. The more you see, the more you learn. Doesn't it make you want to see more? There's always another peak, another valley. And another one after that. North, south, east, west. I just wonder what makes you want to see it all. Don't you? Do I have a choice, Master? <laughs> what makes one man a traveler and the other one not? What makes one content to spend his days in one place, while the other is a living death? For 15 years, I journeyed at the Count's behest to the ends of the earth, and to where as far as my strength and my courage could take me. Get your feet. Let me die here. Get to your feet. You're here because your emperor commands you. You defy Kublai Khan himself, send it to Genghis.
you would declare war against your Khan? The Khan is a world away. I don't intend this man will lead me to my death. Although he may lead his slave death. I was given to him as a slave. But I give him my loyalty out of my own free will. How can you be loyal to him when he's not even Mongol? He is more of a Mongol than you are. If only because he is not a coward. <laughs> What are you writing? Your last words? No food. Men are dying every day. You have no idea where you are or where we are going. If the White Land exists, I think we'll find it. If we go north here... We can't make it, Marco. We cannot, will not make it. Not this time. You know more about the world than anyone. But you cannot know it all. No one man can know it all. Turn back. Save your life. Save all our lives. It would have been great to know if there was anyone beyond there. To see the white land with one's own eyes. I Well, well, back from another voyage with more trinkets. I haven't forgotten that you had me in prison all those years ago, barbarian. Soon, I'll be hunting for you. A safe return. Uh, well, what wonders have you brought me now? These are from the kingdom of the night. There are endless forests there, and the earth is frozen all year round. Ooh. Sometimes the peasants find huge animals in it, as big as elephants, but with wool hides. I thought you swore never to bring the Khan those troublous tales. Proof, Excellency. Ooh. Yeah. The people mainly live by traffic. And I've taken an account of how many furs they take per year. Ah, something of the Venetian merchant's son in you still. Huh? <laughs> What's this? It's a liquid that flows from the rocks. But it gives off light and heat. Ah, <laughs> uh. uh. uh, novelty. Nothing more. Every time the Khan sent you to the ends of the earth, you come back to tell him, no, you haven't reached it yet. Does the world go on forever? If there is an end, I haven't found it yet.
His strength gave out. Prepare the guard to move when I give the word. Khan nearly fell today. Drop his chart for me. I need to know how much longer he has to live. But it's forbidden to prophesy the Khan's death. His chart! We must be prepared for what it means for all of us. I saw his hand tremble. He tries to hide it. I bribed his doctors, but they won't tell me how weak or ill he really is. I risked my life to have the court astrologer draw this up. It says a time of change is near. There is a cycle of fire, and a cycle of earth, and a cycle of water, and the end of one is near. before him. Oh, his own. The Khan will find it hard to tell good advice from evil. That's where honest advisors like you will be needed. He should not go to war with the land of the rising sun. He sees reclaiming those islands as a feat worthy of Genghis himself. He will fail, and that will break his heart. That will also encourage his enemies. Why should you want one? There are always too many journeys to make. I never know from one voyage to the next whether the Khan would greet me with a smile or the blade of an axe. And what could a man like me offer a wife anyway? Guarantee she'd be a widow. But since I saw that girl... You feel your heart laboring harder, and you have strange aches in your bones, and you're short of breath. Is that me or you? Now, when you watch the dancers, instead of lust, you have a pang of regret. When you hear a beautiful woman play the lute, you feel despair, not pleasure. That's you again. Hmm. I've been at court all my life. I know I'll spend the rest of my life here. If you stay ahead of the executioner. This is my home. These are my kinsmen. You're everything a father would be. Pedro, brother. But I need something more. You're lonely. You're exiled from your country. It's too much to bear to be exiled from your heart, too. I will see what I can do. The only benefit that comes with age is to be freed from desire. The Khan, being father to his people, is still expected to have a new young woman in his bed each night. I envied him for years. Now I think it must be one of the heavier burdens of kingship. <laughs> That's her. You sure? Yes. 
Has she been favored by the Khan yet? Ah, this one's a little bit special, as you can see. Hands eye, thumb four. Raise your head. Turn that way. Back this way. Perfection, don't you think? Her beauty is a tribute to you. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm saving her for when the Khan's appetite shows signs of growing jaded. Or for a special occasion, like a military victory. Of course, we seem to have less and less of those. I hear that the doctor said he would not take the field himself again. His health. No doubt. Only a rumor. But... The princes are getting ready to fight for the succession. We'll all need allies in the days ahead. Marco Polo would be a good man to have on your side. For the last 15 years, I've been traveling in the service of the Khan. I know. Many years ago, two girls were stolen from their clan. One was given by the Khan to his favorite, and the other was sent to the House of Women. You're Timelon's sister. Of course. My sister told me about you. Before Timelon died, she asked me to look after you, to make sure you had a protector, but I didn't know what she meant. And by the time I found out, it was too late. I betrayed her. But she would have found a way to escape some other time. She never loved me. I know that. But you didn't try to force her to. You let her be who she was. And let her heart stay where she'd left it. That was not always easy. No. But... <laughs> All those years in the House of Women, I dreamed that one day its doors would open. And now this. You. Your destiny and mine seem to be tied together. Don't they? Yes. Yes, they do. She's Temulin's sister. I know. I want to make her my wife. You're asking your slave for permission to marry? That's not how I think of you, you know that. And from the way you talk to me, no one could imagine you think of me as your master. So what are we to one another then? Friends. And when I marry her, kinsmen, brothers. Was it the girl Kensai you were in love with? or the memory of her sister, Temelin. Did you even know yourself? I'm a writer of romances, remember? That is a question anyone reading this story will ask. Then let them, Scribbler. This sister or the other one, which one was it? Temelin never really gave herself to me. Not all of her. And I knew in that one look, kins I would. You are sure of this? I know my own feelings. I look myself in the eyes, I look into the world's eye. No. No, no man is wise or brave enough to do that. Yes. Yes, I loved Kinzai for the way she reminded me of Temple. A smile, a gesture, the way she would say something. But I loved her for herself. I loved her for herself. You married her? I would have. Except for a death a thousand miles away. Your brother, the Khan of the Persians, sends greetings to the Khan of Khans and swears again his loyalty. In sorrow, he reports that his beloved wife is dead, a princess of your clan. Prostrate with grief, he has dispatched me here to bring this word to you, 
and beg the highest favor that the great Khan bestow on him or any man. Marco? Marco Polo? Fifteen years ago. You fell ill in Persia. I was your doctor. So your father told the truth about the splendors of China. And you survived the desert to see them for yourself. Now you're a great man here. A humble servant. And you've risen in the world too. Bone setter to that fool of an ambassador. That is all. He is here to choose another wife for our Khan. His last wife's dying wish was that her replacement be Mongol. So what are you now? Phoenician? Mongol? Chinese? A bit of them all. <laughs> ah, the best parts of each. I hope so. And Kublai? The Khan of Khans? The pillar that holds up the sky? How is he? Strong enough to rule another 20 years? I'm courtier enough to know not to answer that question. Preferring to keep my head on my shoulders instead of the end of a spear. <laughs> a gift from the gods, Highness. A chance to bind the Persian Khan even more closely to us. That's not what I think. I think our loving brother Khan is trying to throw us off guard while he plots against us. Remember how my succession was disputed? How I had to fight for the throne even though I was the chosen one? The Khan is wise to look for enemies everywhere, even among those who protest their loyalty most loudly. Especially those. But our borders are under threat. And you've had to take the field twice in the past year to put down internal rebellion. I should have listened to those who told me to kill everyone. Raise all of China to the ground, destroy these cities. Turn them into grazing for our Mongolian ponies. Too late for that now. We say when the map is unrolled, the dagger is revealed. It means real danger is often cloaked in apparent good intentions, such as this request, which seems so flattering on its surface. The great Khan will decide this as he chooses. But angering the Persian Khan by refusing him, or pleasing him, in order that it should be he who is off his guard, not us. No, he chose her. Not Kenzai, no! What do you mean, no? No! It's an honor, the greatest you could be given. I don't want it. Uh -huh. You think you have a choice? I'll go to the Khan. I'll explain to him that she's meant for me. She's meant for who the Khan wishes to give her to. But she said no. How can she? She has no say in this. What would you be if you stay here? Wife to a man who may not survive the fight for the throne? There you will be a princess. The princess that I made of you. 
This is a matter of state now. The ambassador has chosen. To refuse would be to insult his master, and we need to keep him allied with us. Do you think I care anything for that? You have to. It's what you owe your Khan. I owe him this too? Now is when you prove your loyalty. And he owes none to me. You sought power, this is the price. I didn't seek power. It's not why I came here. But you stayed at court and rose in the Khan's favor. I never asked for it. But you took it. If you didn't want it, you should have tucked your tail between your legs like your father and left. I'll go to the Empress. I'll go to the Empress. She'll speak for me. She is near death. She has more to concern her than your love affair. But she'll understand. She understands that the Empire may not long survive her or Kublai. Genghis' glory was that he conquered all the kingdoms he fought. Kublai's tragedy is that the Empire's too vast to hold together. You will give her up. Otherwise, I'll tell the Khan and Empress you're plotting treason. And you know the penalty for that, favored or not. We'll make another journey, one greater than you've ever made, filled with more danger, more discoveries. You will survive it, but... But? Your heart won't. What does that mean? All I can tell you is that this last journey will be so dangerous, you'll be like riding a dragon. Be ready to climb on its back. What are you doing? Venice. This is not your concern. Marco, this is not the way. That's for me to say. And what choice were you going to give me? To stay and be punished in your place? Or were you planning to take me with you to be captured when you are captured? I know more of China and what's beyond it than anyone. I'll find my way to Venice. Tell me, did not make it to the front gates. Neither will you. The Khan is dying. The Empress is dying. You know what the enemies I have. Do you think that I need to hear that? When they carried the Genghis to his grave, they slaughtered everyone that they met along the way. 20,000 men, women, and children. Then what do we do? Stay here and wait for a knife in our back. You are the master, I am the slave. Why ask me? And how did you intend to free her from the house of women? I sent someone to tell her to be ready to leave. You were going to fight your way in and out again? Single-handed? Like a hero in the opera? This is the woman that I love and she loves me. Enough to risk her life by running away with you? Yes. She told you that? I know it. I had my chart done. Astrology. I thought Marco Polo only believed the things he could see. It says I will go on my last great journey. Ah, on a magic carpet from the story the Arabs tell? It cannot be this way, Marco. You cannot batter down the gates and carry her off. But if she is your destiny, would not fate have given you the means somewhere to bring it about? There are deserts, mountains, hostile tribes, disease. 
all manner of dangers between here and Persia. This young man himself nearly died on his way here, crossing the roof of the world. I treated him myself. <coughs> our embassy lost half of our men. The ambassador nearly died coming here. Your Majesty, such a journey of month after month would take a terrible toll. And no matter how beautiful a woman was when she set out, well... Yeah, he's right. All across China, Tibet, Afghanistan, before one even reaches Persia. Wars, and disease, and bandits, oh, she must go by sea. Around the Spice Islands, on the tip of India, it will show my Persian brother my tender concerns for him. I need every admiral I have for the invasion of Japan, which will happen as soon as the fleet is ready and the winds are right. May I ask, who made this map? This one, Polo. This one is yours, is it not? I believe so. You will accompany the princess back to Persia. Thank you. You still won't tell me you what did you did your part. It's not safe to know anymore. Take everything I have. Sell it quietly. Everything. Turn it into jewels. Quickly. Please. A king's ransom in every pocket. <laughs> Pedro. It is perfect. Venice, huh? Perhaps you've given me a taste for seeing what's beyond the next mountain, too. What exactly are you up to? Why has that slave of yours been so busy on your behalf with the moneylenders? It's been confirmed that I'm to take Princess Kentai to Persia. No journey ever goes as planned, so... A man should be ready for whatever fortune throws his way. I also heard that you have a noble interest in astrology. For purposes of research or something more. My bones may be old, but my ears and eyes are as sharp as ever. My previous warning stands. I will not countenance treason. I assumed you would find out. It was you who taught me how to survive at court after all. You said to me once, you can never, never, ever trust me. That's something you can rely on. Perhaps I didn't teach you well enough. Perhaps you taught me all too well. How is it? Is it at all bitter? <coughs> Leave him be. If he poisoned you, it was at my order. No talk of trees and no interference. I love her. This is my chance to free her and myself. Did we ever keep you captive? No, no. My best of teachers. It was my own ambition that did that. Hurry, hurry. Okay. Hurry, the ambassador's waiting. Okay. Not okay. Be careful. Okay. 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 Come sit over here. Come sit down. Put this on. I got that Now you're a princess. The princess of the red headdress.
He was pleased, very pleased. I'm going to my death. Don't say that. You're sending me to my death. No. I know the ways of the court. If he finds me plain, I'll be locked away forever. If he favors me, the otherwise will see me as a rival and try to kill me. Plain? You? After all the work I've done with you? How can you say that? When do I set out? As soon as Polo has everything in hand. The plans have changed. He'll be in charge of taking you by sea. Now, you're in great danger. Because you lose my protection. I've saved your life many times. <coughs> Try to survive. Try to keep your head on your neck. Not for your sake, but for his. Can this empire be ruled by one man? Perhaps, perhaps not. But it is your duty to help him try. Your duty. Remember, he must not go to war with the land of the rising sun again. They've repulsed him once already. He thinks to conquer them would be to complete King Gus's conquests. But it would be to show our weakness and betray them. <coughs> His Excellence may trust Polo to return and not flee to the west with the secrets of the Empire. But think of the Persian Khan, Majesty. Yes. I think of little else. You are the Khan of Khans and may do as you please. But to send such a precious gift in the hands of a barbarian? This barbarian has served me well, as he has served your China. And not by sniveling around this court, whispering like an old woman in my ears, like some I know. Your Excellence is known for his wisdom and for his insight into men's hearts. If he is sure that his brother Khan will not take it as an insult and that he knows the barbarian well enough. Oh, Lord, we bring terrible news. The Empress. his grandfather died all the slaves who built his tomb and all the guards who guarded it were killed in order to safeguard the whereabouts of his final resting place who knows what Kublai will do in his grief for his wife Marco! It's a trick. A ship of your own. To India. Then where? To Venice? Taking my secrets with you. Hmm? You of all people. When Genghis lost his grandson, my brother Mutujen, at the siege of Bamiyan, he destroyed the city. But first, he killed every living thing in it. Every man and woman and child, every cat and dog and caged bird, every rat in the gutter, everything that took breath, slaughtered. Slaughtered. That is how we Mongols keep what we have. That is how we protect what is ours. Is this not so? It is so, Majesty. You hate me, is that it? That way you want to betray me? Because you love Venice more? I hardly remember anything about Venice. Is that an answer? I can't trust my own brothers, my own sons. How should I trust you? I will not betray you. I will return to my camp. Words. 
But, oh, you were always very good with words. That's why you were valuable to me. I swear on my honor. Honor? Well, uh, honor is what? A spy? Huh? An agent of the West? A Venetian thief? How do I know what he is, who he is? You cannot, Excellence. Perhaps it was a mistake ever to think that you could. A mistake I may have made as well. Who knows what lies in the heart of a kinsman, let alone someone in a different skin? Where does his real loyalty lie, after all? But I know this man. I know what lies in his heart. If he betrays you, you may have my head. Perhaps for the Mongolian step to remind me where we came from. That we were the greatest warriors the world has ever seen. Hey. I always thought it would be shameful to die in bed, not on the battlefield. But now it seems that's what fate has in store for me. But I'm a Mongol warrior still. Even now, I'm building ships and gathering troops for the assault against Japan. This time, I shall not fail. This time, I shall make them submit, as Genghis would have done. But the Empress warned that... that... I know what the Empress warned. I must make my own way now. Go here, I said to you. Go there. See if these places exist. If the... Travelers' tales are true. You were my eyes, as she was my heart. But it's done. I will not change my mind. The orders have been given. Uh. By the time you return from this mission, shall be master of these islands, too. Safe passage as you go. And as you return. It's time. Say nothing. I need no thanks. The characters for revenge can be expressed as hatred falling like snow. Winter is very near and it will snow and snow and snow. I'm an old man. No one would think it worthwhile to put a knife in me. And if they did, well, I lived my share of years anyway. But you, you must not come back here, do you understand? I gave him my word, Marco. I promised him. Then you must betray one of them, must you not? You cannot keep your word to both. Which will it be? The Emperor or... Not here. Choose your time and place. But make sure it's before he can choose his. Hmm? My best and most unexpected of students.
was forewarned that this would be the greatest of my journeys. And I was prepared for the hardships of the ocean. Of the disease and sickness the sea voyage always bring. The days that the wind didn't blow. For day after day, week after week. I was even prepared for the dangers from within. test came. It came with the briefest of warnings. Cover the only safe way for a ship to go from one side of the strait to the other. Whether or not to run the gauntlet was my decision. There was only one decision to be made. To save the girl's life? Yes. The girl that was your captive, yes? She was, wasn't she? That's the way a writer of cheap romances may look at it. <sighs> Ill-informed insults are a hazard of the literary life, but she was, wasn't she? Yes. Every day we journeyed, every step we took put her closer to Persia. And through that betrayal? or to the betrayal of your word to the Khan. What was more pressing at the moment was how to keep us all alive. There was no time to gaze at wonders now. I had to lead them out of danger before the food gave out. Or Kokotai stabbed me in the back. But where was I leading them? Pirates at sea, or did you want us all to die here? I explored this coast on one of my first voyages. We can go north into Siam. And after that? We can get into India through Burma, and then on to Persia. Was there a reason why you didn't want to stand and fight the pirates? Turn and run! Kill you for that. But we have more fighting ahead of us. We can't make it back to the coast now. Safety lies on moving forward. Up! Up! Up, up! 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 Hey. 
There was indeed more fighting to be done. We encountered more hunger and sickness, too. I come from the Great Khan. Will you defy him? Will you risk his anger? Which Khan is this? The grandson of Genghis. Kublai Khan. Kublai Khan is dead. You did not know this, yet you claim to be his servants. We've been traveling for over a year. Are you sure of this? Yes. Kublai Khan is no more. Kublai Khan is dead. It doesn't seem possible. It was true. I never knew whether he would greet me with a golden robe or the blade of an axe. For all those years, I never knew each morning if I would live to see the night. He was my jailer. But he was also my friend. They say he lost heart after his fleet was scattered and destroyed when he tried to invade the land of the rising sun. So he tried again. And suffered yet another defeat, one of the greatest in the history of man. He lost his entire navy and thousands of his best soldiers. After that, every petty prince could risk defying him. I've heard there's a new Khan now, his son, Temur, but no one knows for sure. No one can say where their loyalties should lie. These are uncertain days. Not a good time to be on the road, to be strangers. We'll be a few days here until we recover our strength. Then we leave for Persia. Persia? Some say things are not well there either. No matter. That's where we're headed. And then back to China. All of us. Fate has been handed back to you. The vow I made to return was to Kublai personally as my Khan. He's dead. I'm free of it. If you 
come with me, you can never go back. I know. No, can you? And I swore an oath to Kublai. He's dead. No one mourns his death more than I, but I am released from that vow. I swore to take the princess to Persia. The Persian Khan is dead too! Then I'll take her back to China and you with me or your head. You think I'll sell you the girl for a handful of jewels? She's not yours to sell. Princess Kenzai. The princess! Your master is dead. He can have no use for her now. She is to be given to another prince of the royal household. It is the new Khan's command. Temo wills it as a sign of friendship to the Persian court. My orders are to take her there. Then you'll have to kill me. If you so wish. Stop, Kenzai! 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 Come back! Stop her! Stop her! Could she have been happy in Venice with me, among us barbarians? Or would her soul have sickened and our love died? All I know is that she was taken to Persia, and the gates of the temple closed on her. I never knew her fate. on a journey that I would have given anything not to have to make. City built on a swamp. Clever.
It's only the traveler returns home. Or curiosity satisfied? Never. I could have done none of it without your loyalty. A small price, loyalty, for a life of the things that I have seen. Church reads beggars. Is this the Polo House? Yes. My father. Is he still alive? A man from the East with a devil for a servant. What do you want? man in the world. Came back. Wasted! It is shameful. You did not find a way to take advantage. It's just as I warned your father. The boy will return with not a coin to his name. It's worth more than any coin. Scribblings, that's all. travels. Did you ever go back to China? No. Will you ever go back? I am a rich man now. The merchant I swore I would never be. And rich men have obligations, such as to get themselves kidnapped and held for ransom. But when we get out, if, if we get out of here... No. I will not go back. Twice I found them in search for, and twice I lost it. I uh, am not a rich man. All I have is quill and ink. You will keep to your bargain, yes? Show me your journals. Let me see your maps. Help me write my book. Our book. Your book. Do you think anyone wants to read it? There will be no monsters or flying horses or men with one foot so big they used to shade it from the sun. Of all the tales I have ever heard, this one needs them. At least. It's not the tale, it's the truth. How I set out to prove men wrong when they called my father a liar. And fell off the edge of the world into a greater one. 